Welcome to Vintage Coin Op Restorations and one of our latest projects. Here we have Automatic Games Company 1933 Pile Driver. What an incredible game. Um, for a nickel, um, I would think that this pile driver goes from left to right on a motor. And somewhere in there, with your dial here, you turn it either left or well, only left. Left would bring this up and it would stop the mechanism from moving. And at that time, it would probably drop, um, it would probably drop the ball on one of those pins. And I guess if you hit the pin, maybe these numbers say uh, two nickels, four. I guess uh, if you hit it at all, you might get a payout. And we'll figure that out in a second. Uh, just open this thing up. I haven't plugged it in. Uh, the cord is completely shot, and I don't even want to take a chance of what could happen. Um, overall, the cabinet is in nice shape for its age. Uh, we do have some chunks missing, uh, but um, let's see some damage over here. Um, obviously, for something this age, um, it's really in incredible condition, to tell you the truth. Um, not too many times you see machines um, of this age look like this. Though you do have some hairline cracking. And again, I see it up, um, where did I, up here on the right side of the cabinet. There's some uh, breakage. Now the base cabinet uh, is done very, very nice, very ornate. Though it is not original. Uh, this has been done by somebody uh, and they did a great job to uh, to match the upper cabinet. But if you can see, one's a little more on the golden side than than the, the upper. So that's going to be something we have to decide whether or not uh, we invest the time in um, maybe just toning it. Toning that lower bottom to uh, get rid of that um, that gold sheen on there because it it just stands out right now. So like I said, the upper cabinet is original, the lower is not. Um, this is exactly how we found this motor and in, inside. So right here you can see that someone did, uh, it looks like um, uh, JB Weld of some sort, some sort of an epoxy. Uh, not sure what this two by four is for, but that's exactly how I found it. Um, we're going to have to go through this machine and see what's happened here. Coin box. I'm not sure where that even goes. But um, as you can see, I'm not, well, maybe you can't. You can see that this motor is cocked right now. But um, we might have to do some figuring out maybe replacing that motor or the housing because it looks like it's not even straight. It looks like it's uh, tilted a little bit. So we're going to find that out. But uh, what I was, let's get back to the game. Somewhere in this, I believe this would be going left to right. And you would stop it. You would stop it by lifting up this, uh, um, it's a bunch of teeth in there. And at that time, this ball would probably drop on it. So when you, I just do a nickel in there and I uh, got a screw inside here and a nickel. Okay, so uh, I'm going to guess that when you actually hit one of these, like this one here, let's say. Oh, that didn't do anything. Didn't do anything. Okay. Um, that one actually paid out. Paid out something. So let's go around the thing and see what shot out of the, out of the coin mac. Uh, it seems to be a nickel. So we got paid out a nickel for hitting a, a number two. So these things are, would be filled with nickels. And there's got to be some sort of um, uh, pattern. Or maybe you just hit. Um you hit one of these, as you can see that every one that's marked uh, number four is green. And all the twos are red, and there's the one that must be super tough, the 12. 
and there's a FAR-12 on top over there. So um, that's our project. Uh, we need to get this thing working correctly. Um, this looks like the original coin mech. Um, we'll see how that works. But then there's the whole question of, of exactly what we need to do to the cabinet. Like I said, it's in very good shape. Uh, we'll do, we could put some glue in some of these cracks, clamp it together, just clean it up a little bit. Or do we go and go ahead and tone the bottom to match the top? Or it might be able that, you know what, we clear coat both. Because if you look at them two, those two, there's two different sheens. So they don't look exactly the same. And uh, that might be something to think about. Up on top here, this must be, okay, it's a little hopper. And that hopper is what you fill all your nickels in with. And I think there's another one on the opposite side also. Okay, and it also has a screw on there. So it would make sense that you're not able to do this without having a key or some sort of locking mechanism from below. Otherwise, people would be sitting there with a piece of gum or something and shooting uh, a string and pulling out those nickels. So there you have it. This is going to be part one of Automatic Games Miniature Pile Driver. Stay tuned as we figure out the mystery of this game. Thanks for watching.